course, when you have a moment. Sir. Don't no, suppose there's any need to ask what that's about with the new suit. It begins with having failed the sergeants. And then you find that, that there's something even beyond Thursday and beyond Bright. This past three years, you've made some very powerful enemies. They won't forgive and they won't forget. If I was in a job where over the space of three years I've been shot at, stabbed, never promoted, but constantly solving crime, then I think I would think to look elsewhere as well. Because he seems incapable, for one reason or another, to get his personal life into a gratifying shape. All of that energy and enthusiasm and intelligence and intuition is channeled through work. Two drownings in one day. That's unusual, don't you think? There's a very strong idea of what's right and what's wrong and a very strong moral compass, and I think that's what we see very much over the course of these four films. Even to the detriment of his relationship with Thursday and the people who he's closest to, we'll say, I don't do things that way. Hello, girl. <laughs> Somebody tried to do for Terry Bakewell last night. Him. I want to know who he is, where he is, and which shite old state they've got. He's using violence in a way that endeavors just can't abide with. Who is he? To bend the law in a way that suits our purposes is not right. It's kind of very black and white, which I suppose is quite immature in some respects, but admirable right. in others, I think. Right. Just don't go making something out of nothing, that's all. That's what we do, isn't it? That's Everyone gets on each other's nerves every now and then. That's life. And I think it would be remiss not to include that in this. Did he mention I could have revised till Ragnarok for all the good it would have done me? I also think that this person has a very difficult relationship with his own father, and so probably would push Thursday away, I think, to a degree, and be quite judgmental about things. And I think that's good. I think it benefits our story. Scotch, before lunch. Also, Thursday is going through a lot in it because Joan has left home, Sam has left home, and it's affecting his work. If this is a person who likes to solve crosswords, whose mind works in that way, then, of course, it's a particular type of person who would solve crimes in a slightly different way, or solve puzzles, I suppose. Who does get affected? Sensitive, empathetic way, I suppose. You feel the pain of someone who's lost their child or lost their, you know, husband or wife, and you want to do what you can to bring a sense of justice to the world. Kind of one of the joys of playing this part as well. First one we've got, it's set in Oxford. A Russian grandmaster's coming over to play chess against a machine. And then we went right from that to the second one, which was kind of the summer of love. A bag of pot and some marijuana cigarettes were found in the common room yesterday after you left. What is this? Some sort of frame-up? This rock band's very psychedelic. Would you like some wine? No, thank you. And then the third one is completely sterile. It's in a hospital, lots of nurses, doctors. It's a very particular look. Well, there's no great mystery. Russell does an extraordinary, extraordinary job and it's made better by the team making it possible, making it a reality. Moore said you ran a demonstration of the new postal coding system. And I think a lot of these stories are all about progress. The Thursday character, that generation, myself and Strange, our generation coming through, what progress is, how we do things in a different way, if anything actually is, if it is progress. You have the power station juxtaposed against this tiny, odd little village, these two worlds combining. Old agricultural methods of seeing things, the autumnal equinox, the land owning you rather than you owning the land, and then this power station which is potentially destroying all of that. Colin Dexter, he's extraordinary really, and none of us would be here actually if it wasn't for Colin. We hit upon the idea of having him represented in one way or another, so there was a, <laughs> there's a bust of him, and then in the hospital we pretended that he was one of the doctors and there was a caricature made of him. And so we've tried to still try to salute him in each of the films, and as long as we make them, then we will continue to do that. Highlight for me this series, um, do you know, I love going to Oxford. The team is all together then, and everyone is away from home. And so it's just a good atmosphere, you know, and it's so busy as well. So each time we go to Oxford is always the highlight for me, to be totally honest.